sit down. How you been? It's time to settle a little score from Rockport, you think? What's his bounty? 150k. David, take care of this guy. Show your face here! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, go, hey, mate. Control yourself. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> My bad, Romeo. <laughs> Miss me? Darius asked me to come by and see how you were doing. Now, well, why don't you go get me something to drink? See, things ain't been the same since you're gone, you know? There's a lot of, a lot of posers, no respect. Unit 4, mark confirmed for 1046 on suspects Bravo and Charlie. Suspect Alpha driving a blue Toyota is a non-action. You've got a lot to learn about the big times, little man. This city is mine, and it's time for you to disappear. Again. the only one with a score to settle. Now, let's get out of here. I win, you lose. It's your last chance to face reality and back off. I have a secret that you'd like to know. I was there that night you left.
I know all the back streets. I grew up in these alleys. I can customize anything. I've practically built all the kits you see around this place. Okie dokie. I got soda and water. Where'd you go? Darius gave you the safe house. You can use it to fix your car or chill out when the heat's on. Darius gave you the safe house. You can use it to fix your car or chill out when the heat's on. Sit down! It's time to settle a little score for the rock. As I navigate like a husky But trust me, the truth is I wouldn't even trust me Many rely on religion, that doesn't make sense Cause that's considered a sin It is really no winning Cause everyone harbors a lion But didn't wish that were different Being a bad liar is like having a bad lawyer As soon as they get caught They get the sentence after A good lie is benevolent With a memory like an elephant Intelligent and knows exactly when to What, here? I'm right there Nikki What do you say you show your old friend the ropes? You got it, kid I always say you did I'm not using him. I'm the only one who knows what he's capable of. I run everything. Cars and drivers. I've been running you all along. Don't disappoint. Not again. Sound speed. Mark. Be ready and action. You gotta be joking, right? Go west again. Still rolling. Garbin is mine. It's time for you to disappear again. Great, cut it. Once again, please. So I'd say we're on the bleeding edge. We're uh, taking live action, real actors, and we're putting them into a video game environment using green screen. And the cars are coming, Heroes in the lead, and three, two, one, WHAM! Um, I think the best way to describe the CG environment, or the green screen environment, is fairly hostile to both the director and the actors. You've got to create an environment yourself around you when you're working on a green screen. It's a different world working in that environment day after day because you have to imagine all the things that are around you and you're really only just given sort of various reference points. There's no buildings, there's no roads, uh, there's no cars. I block everything out with 1 18th scale cars and little dolls um, on like a, on a big white set. And I bring the actors over the table and I show them where everything is. They're standing here, this car goes by. Yes. Yeah, kind of, yeah, like, kind of like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. like reveals. That. And then reveals this. And we're just, we're, the camera's over there, and we're yeah. doing our little dolly through. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Sexy. And then when I have them on set, I start describing the world around them, you know, the mood, um, where they are, where the road is. That's good. Oh, I'm going to use that. Okay, and here the car's coming in the distance. Oh, now it's going to happen. Here they come. Okay, here the car's coming. Now you see the car's coming. They're coming closer and closer, and cops! Bam, put the lights on. Helicopter, get out of there! Get out of there! And cut it! And this is out. very different from, from acting in film or television in some ways just because you're you're acting directly into a lens and talking to the hero and your player. Action. You and me. And you're for it. Excellent. It can be challenging, but um, but it's a lot of fun and, and I mean <laughs> The video village that they have set up for this, as opposed to you know the little monitors that we get on film and TV, where the, everything's kind of grainy, and you're like, mm. here we've got like 55 inch like flat screens and plasma <laughs> TVs and things, and you're like, wow. Need for Speed is one of the hottest video games in the world, so it's only fitting that the brand new Canadian star be just as hot. I can't wait to see the finished product. Of course, we're doing it on green screen right now, but when they do throw the background in, it's, it's really neat. This is the last shot, ready? 
<laughs> Cars drive off into the sunset. Need for Speed Audio has its perks. We were lucky to get the keys to some amazing cars this year, including a 4 GT, a Jag XK, and a highly modified 350Z. <laughs> making a production for a game so that when you play the game, you feel immersed and it gives you the most real effect that you can feel. Hang in there, buddy. Have a good last five or ten minutes. Yeah. We're going to be fulfilling a uh, specific set of needs uh, set by EA, which is accelerations, decelerations, ramp up, slow turns, fast turns, and we'll go through a checklist of approximately 30 or 40 items. This is the first time in the Need for Speed franchise that we've had the technology to take our actors into real-time gameplay, and that was thanks to Universal Capture. <laughs> Doing the UCAP was just the most insane experience yeah. ever. The UCAP, I guess, it captures you from all different angles, so they put thousands of these dots all over your face, which is super intense to begin with. I think I believe 86 sensors all over the face. So it was neat, it was different. When they put you in the booth and you know, once you pretend like you're you're driving and you play uh, you play to your left, your right, your rear view mirror ahead of you in the screen. And this is the stuff they ultimately use for the for the racing sequences of the game. Try to keep up! So the player is crashed, we'll cut to your car, you play the look, and then you but you and you're in the middle of driving. And driving and we're driving and heroes, you see the hero coming up and, and boom, he crashed! Yeah. <laughs> You see the car on the right, and pass! This is how you pass. Pass! This is how you pass. And pass! This is how you pass. So what we're seeing here is a system of capturing uh, facial performances from uh, real actors, and, and with that, a whole process that lets us uh, reconstruct these performances and, and put them in the game to deliver quality of characters and emotional experiences that has never been seen before. No one can touch me. It's probably been some of the hardest acting I've had to do as well. Um, you can move your head at a radius of about two inches this way and two inches that way, and up and down as well. And you're getting into car crashes and all sorts of things, and you're having to act without like going, whoa, you have to kind of keep it contained right here and just go like, whoa, 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 when getting into car crashes, so it's a little bizarre but really fun and a challenge. It's not like anything I've ever done before. The real innovation has been in, in the actual uh, technology that's allowed this to work in real time. So instead of after five hour renders, we're delivering them in real time. you took off, there is something seriously out of whack. You think you know this town? You have no idea what's in store for you.
Things ain't been the same since you've gone. This city is mine. I run everything, cars and drivers. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of posers. No respect. Sit down! I show your face here! It's time to settle a little score from Rockford. You think? Don't disappoint. Not again. You're into me now for some serious cash. I bought Nikki everything that you couldn't. Drive. You're not the only one with a score to settle. Who's the third wheel? Doesn't matter. You just couldn't leave good enough alone, could you? Show's over.
rap it, it, man. Butt up a shank on it. Too much hype, man. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, flipping up. Oh, I rap a lot it, man. Butt up a shank on it. To the beat, hot flows, hot caps on my caps on my speed. Enrolled in caps to the reps of the heat. Most like a match to the beat, burn with it lands in your feet. I rap tight to the 22 bugs of the seat. More ferocious than 22 tigers. You want to flow, I'll give you 77 a week. Rest than hooks complete. Ill if I bone if I beat. Yeah. carbon this year and the whole idea there is where you challenge this boss for a particular area you have to beat him in the canvas. They're all pretty steep but some are a lot easier than others. There is one catch to it though because in, uh, in the canyon race there's an immediate race over that you've lost. If you slide off the track, go through the barriers and into uh, the ditch and off the cliff, race over.
Hampton is our industrial area in, uh, in Palmont, uh, influenced a lot by Long Beach. Uh, it's, it's where the, uh, the dockyards are, where a lot of manufacturing is. It's designed for the car class of the muscle cars. Uh, it's very flat, a lot of long, straight areas uh, that really utilize the power of the muscle cars. Downtown Palmont is, is a mixture of uh, San Diego, Los Angeles, and, uh, and San Francisco. Tuner cars are more downtown. It's a, a very rolling area with tighter turns than there is in the industrial area. But it's the high-rise buildings, a lot of glass, but then it blends out a little bit into each of the other areas, like uh, some of the industrial and some of uh, the exotic areas. Well. Fortuna is what we call the exotic area. It's uh, influenced a lot by Beverly Hills, West Los Angeles, Santa Monica, um, and uh, also up in the hills there around the, the Getty Museum. There's a lot of similarities between all of them. Fortuna is designed for the exotic cars. It's a lot more elevation pitch, tighter turns, much more technical driving. It feels like a, a real Southern California town. Well, Silverton is our casino area, highly influenced by uh, Las Vegas. We've got the strip area with the big theme casinos, and when you drive through there, you, you really get this feel of the grand casinos in Las Vegas. We've also got some of the residential areas that we've uh, looked at. Silverton has uh, some elevation, it has some straightaway, a little bit of everything that the other worlds have. San Juan is uh, influenced a lot by the uh, Southwest art style of uh, New Mexico, Santa Fe, Taos. And we flew down there to take a, a bunch of pictures of that area. We have roughly 45 world artists that uh, create the whole world, and that would be from the track designers to the, uh, the world artists building the buildings and all of the objects. We have our texture artists and all of our lighters as well. It takes about eight months to build one of these worlds.